Well, the rain is still coming down for the next couple of days. This is a project that I didn't think I was going to start, honestly, until next week when the rain stopped. But seeing as my ceiling still hasn't cured from last week's video, and I'm not yet ready to put on the upholstery, I still need to be making progress. And something that I can do, even though it's raining outside, is my door. Now this door, as you can see, is kinda crusty. It's missing some of the decals, it's super weathered, and most importantly, it doesn't close from the inside and it's not watertight. All along the bottom of the door, you can see that the paneling is pushing in, and so today I'm going to take this door apart and figure out what I need to fix it and make it hopefully good as new. I've also decided to replace the entire inside piece as right now it's a piece of weathered aluminum that's kinda crusty. It almost looks like there's rust on it. It's so dirty. So the plan is to take that out and then with many, many, many coats of polyurethane, I'm not gonna mess around with this. I think I'm gonna try to skin the inside with wood that matches the rest of the interior. I might end up replacing the windows and the lock as well just to make it more secure and allow us to actually see out the back instead of just having these like translucent windows that we can't see anything but light from. But all of that is to be decided after I get this door off of its hinges and figure out what the damage actually is. So let's get this door off of its hinges and get going. Oh, yummy, that's... yummy in my tummy. Terrific. So I just did two test patches and it's probably gonna be kind of hard to see. I sanded this down, so yeah, that's a little dirty. But this is the French cream and that is the white. And so far it's looking like French cream might be close. Well, it's definitely closer. But I just need to decide if I wanna go with something that is already a little bit more yellow. Hi, Coda. Or if I wanna go with something super white. Honestly, I'd prefer to match the camper a little better, so I'm leaning towards French cream, but I'm gonna let this set up a little bit more and then make a decision. All right, while that paint is drying, I think we're gonna leave it overnight, most likely before shooting it with that enamel clear coat. We're gonna tackle something that I've been really freaked out about because I just hate doing upholstery, installing the headliner. And so my dad right now is grabbing a mask. We're gonna be spraying some 3M90 and using staples to get this thing secured. And hopefully by the end of today, we're gonna have a very, very different looking ceiling. Wouldn't it be nice if it was this easy? Instead, it ended up being a three-person job and juggling of 3M90 spray adhesive, which worked great on this marine grade carpet. My parents help, a staple gun, and about an hour's worth of time. A few people were concerned when I said carpet last week, so I just want to clarify, this is marine grade mold and mildew resistant upholstery, not carpet. Good morning from the last rainy day on the forecast for at least the next 10 days. This morning we ended up spraying that clear enamel coating just so it could have time to dry. And now I'm going to start cutting all of the wood frame pieces for the door. I'm probably not going to be able to install it today, but at least we'll have everything ready for assembly tomorrow when it's nice and warm out so we can get a door back in the camper. This morning I also, it's looking really nice in here, added the seal for the max air fan, those two lights, and cut out the upholstery for 
the hatch. I am going to spray, there's the frame up there. I'm gonna spray it just to match this guy so it looks more uniform. And then tomorrow we'll be able to install the door. I also have solar panels coming later today and a couple other key components for my electrical system. So things are moving right along. Good morning, friends. It has been a couple of days since I've recorded, and that's not because I haven't been working. You can kind of see a little bit of what I've been doing behind me, but it's just been weird the past couple of days. I've really gotten into full build mode with my dad. I don't know if that makes sense. I feel like with the rain in my ankle, it was really hard to get a lot done for a while, and so this past week, the rain stopping, I was able to really start knocking out some big projects, which is super exciting. And I'm really happy about how they're turning out. The work that we're doing, I think is really great. And I'm very excited to see this come together. And it's weird recording this type of thing. I, I love it, don't get me wrong. But feeling the need to share everything that I'm doing, just, I don't know. Sometimes, not always, but sometimes it does take me out of the moment and the past two days I've really just wanted to put my head down, spend time with my dad, and get some things done. So I didn't record what we were doing, but essentially we started putting up the walls in the camper, which I'll show you in a second. And then yesterday made a run to the hardware store to pick up a bunch more wood because I'm gonna need a couple more sheets of quarter inch maple to go on the walls. So that's what we're going for today. It's very cold outside. It actually got below freezing, which in California, where I'm located, like coastally, it's very cold. So it's uh, very damp and cold outside, but I'm gonna set things out in the sun in hopes that they will dry up properly and that I can get a couple of coats on both the back and the front of the boards today because even though I insulated the best that I could, condensation is going to happen. It's inevitable. And when it does, I want there to be as little risk as possible of this wood rotting because hopefully we're going to have this thing for quite a while. Well, this week has felt like a million years and a blink of an eye all at once. I got the solar installed on the roof and I have 450 watts of solar, two flexible and one rigid panel. The door is almost assembled except for the window frames that came damaged unfortunately, so I'll have to wait till tomorrow to get to those. Most of the camper is skinned. I have not set these in place yet because I want all the pieces cut stained and sealed before they're installed. So they're all just sitting here right now, which is why they might look a little bit janky. And the ceiling is upholstered, trimmed out, the lights are installed and they do work, which is super exciting. I was able to use a little battery converter to test them. Lights turn on inside, outside, the fan works. We're making moves. 
I will be taking a bit of a midweek break this week because I'm heading up to Oregon to empty out my storage unit that I filled to the brim, a five by five storage unit, back in October when I emptied out the bus. And it's gonna be nice to have all of that stuff for a few reasons. One, because like most of my clothes and belongings are there, but also because there's a lot of things that I'm going to be selling over on Instagram, most likely, like clothes, outdoor gear that I just simply don't use anymore. And having that gear is also going to allow me to start planning for trips once I get this thing done. So next week's video, instead of being build focused, is going to be my trip up to Oregon. Tara, unfortunately, is not going to come because I just feel terrible making her sit in the car for 20 hours straight, basically. I'm heading up and back over 48 hours. So she will be staying here with another pup, room to run around, and not being stuck in the car for 20 hours. I'm going to visit a friend who I'll be staying with, and I'm just looking forward to taking a step away, getting refreshed, getting all my stuff, and getting back to work. I know I covered a lot of different projects this week, so if you guys have any questions about what or why I did what I did, drop them in the comments down below, and I will try to get to them later on this week. As always, thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate your support and for following along on this kind of crazy haphazard build journey, but it's kind of coming together. It's feeling a little less crazy by the day. All right, I'll see you guys next Sunday.